Hi there, and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Kovu, and this is my cooking show. Today on Kovu's cooking show, we are making protein waffles with cottage cheese. But I promise you that you will not be able to detect this protein cheese while eating these delicious waffles. What you will need, I will tell you now. You will need four eggs, 250 grams of cotton cheese, 150 grams of old flour. I'm reading this in Norwegian, so I'm not completely certain what it's called, but I think it's old flour. Some vanilla, either like extract or like vanilla sugar. Is that a thing? Other places then there's no way. Sweetener or sugar, but we're going for sweetener because we're doing the healthy kind. One, um, it's not a teaspoon, the other spoon. One tablespoon. One tablespoon of melted butter. Two tablespoons of baking soda, I guess. Like, it's just this powder and it's white and it, like, it looks like that. I swear it's not cocaine. Some cinnamon and some cardamom. Is that what it's called in English? And some water or milk to get the right consistency. Why did I do that? Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> you guys have requested me to do some more baking videos. And I actually found this like, um, like Chef's, uh, I don't know, there's like an apron and a Chef's hat. Um, and I just, I thought that could be a kind of fun idea for a video. So. I think this is for kids. Will this fit my head? I'm pretty sure that this is for kids. Wait. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay. My head is a little bit too big. Uh, okay, so it doesn't fit over my head. But there's this like little thing here. So it's not like maybe cut that. Okay, we're good to go. All right, so I'm gonna start by grabbing a bowl and my cottage cheese. And I'm also going to take off this hat because it is annoying me a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna use this to weigh the cottage cheese. So. I know I'm really weird, but cottage cheese is genuinely so good. Like it's really good with salt and pepper on it. Some people eat cotton cheese with like jam and with berries as like a dessert. Okay. Mmm. Perfect. And now I'm just gonna crack my eggs in a different bowl case I get any eggshells in there. I'm really sorry vegans. <laughs> I got some eggshells in there. And that is full. Okay, so it does look pretty gross right now, I'm not gonna lie, but it's gonna get better. It gets worse. Shane Dawson reference? No? Okay. Now I'm gonna grab my hand, oops, my hand blender and I'm gonna blend that shit. Basically. I'm just gonna plug that in right there. And now it's really important to not stick your finger or your tongue in there because Uh, 
Okay, now this is completely lump free. Now it is time to add the rest. Okay, so placing that bowl on the weight thing again, I'm just gonna make sure that it's a zero. And then we can just pour it in until it says 150. Then just uh, grab a whisk and beat it like you'd beat your... Okay, I need to stop. Beep, 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 beep. There we go. Uh, as you can see, it is really thick and definitely not the uh, the consistency of a waffle. What's it called? Like waffle dough? No, that's not right. Anyway, yeah, that's why we have to add the water or the milk later on. Uh, you can add milk if you want more protein and more good stuff. But I'm personally gonna add water. Okay, now I'm gonna add some vanilla extracto. Pop that lid open like you pop your bubble gum. <laughs> I am being very inappropriate today. I'm really sorry. Okay. Okay. That might be a bit too much. All right. Then we need some sweetener. Then we need some baked soda or baking powder, like we say in normal. Gonna grab a spoon. I remember when I was little, I would like eat this. Yeah. If you eat a lot of this, it will look like you have rabies. I shouldn't joke about rabies, but then again, I shouldn't joke about anything really, because. PC. I think that the cinnamon and the cardamom is what really makes this work, but seriously, it, it really, like, especially the cardamom, it just, it's really good, so, okay, I'm just gonna go with that first, and then I need one tablespoon melted butter, it's actually this, like, that says light, so it's light butter. I'm not a big fan of like butter and stuff, but it's kind of needed for this recipe, so we're just gonna go with it. All right, and then I'll pop that in the microwave. Now the butter has melted. I don't know if you can see the steam, but there's some steam. I mean, it's hot, so don't touch it, kids. <laughs> Have we added everything? I think so. And then just mix it. Okay, no, that is very difficult. See, this is very thick. It's thicker than your mama. So I think I'm gonna add some water. Okay. It's not easy to do this with only one hand. I'll have to add a lot more water. It's still very thick. <laughs> I'm gonna add some more because it really is supposed to be quite thin. At least like the waffles that I'm making right now. By the way, American waffles? What's the deal with that? They're like squared and they're weird. <laughs> Rhymes. Well, Norwegian or like Scandinavian waffles, I really don't know. European waffles? I'm not sure. They're not like that. They're really cute and they're like five little hearts. There we go. Um, also, because of the flour that we're using, the old flour, uh, it might actually thicken. So if you let it sit for a bit, you might actually have to add more water to it. Just a little tip. Now I will have to taste it. That is really good. <laughs> oh my god. That is actually, like, perfect. So I think we're good to go. Uh, I'm just gonna clean my kitchen because uh, you can't see it on camera, but it's it's a huge mess. And then we're gonna go on to ironing them, like putting them in a waffle iron, like frying them. 
to the fry, is I know what it's called, but we're gonna do that. We're gonna apply heat, and uh, yeah, that would be great. All right, hello, we are back. Here we have a waffle iron. And here we have a thing to put the waffles on when they come out of the waffle iron to cool down. I added some water because it started to thicken a bit. Uh, and I also have some butter and this thingy to put inside the waffle iron so that the waffles won't get stuck. So, I'm gonna add some in there. Then we can add the actual waffle stuff. Wait, wait, I have to make a vape joke. Does it look like I'm vaping? I'm gonna check the waffle. Oh, wow, it's done already. That was quick. There we go. Perfect. I'm gonna add some more butter. Close. Is it okay to do a little taste test for science? Mm. I'm being serious, like that's really good. Like... There we go. Third one. Final one! Also I'm watching Shane Dawson. What a surprise. Done. Okay, so we've got all the waffles and I already ate one, but now there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is not my original recipe. I will leave the link to that in the description as well as the translated recipe uh, because the original one is in Norwegian. Also, I heard that in the US you eat waffles for breakfast. That's so weird! Waffles here is like a dessert food. Um, so yeah, I really hope you try these out. Genuinely, they are really good and they're also really good for you. So, that's a plus. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did to let me know. Also, please comment what you think in the comments. And if you do try out this recipe, then DM me on Instagram or comment down below or tweet me or something like that to let me know what you think. Do you want more videos like this? Less? Let me know if you want to, you don't have to. Anyway, I hope you have an amazing day today. Stay safe and eat drink and do not hurt yourselves. And remember, they were so much more than you could ever realize. Like, seriously, I hope the rest of your week will be absolutely brilliant. And I'll talk to you soon. I love you and thank you as always for watching. Bye. Also subscribe to see more of my awkward little face if you're new here. And that's pretty gay. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.